Hi there and welcome or welcome back to the channel. In my latest haul I showed this interesting little book, uh, Chris Riddell's The Da Vinci Cod and I was saying about like the pages being very shiny. I had quite a few requests to test out um, some media in this book, uh, be it pencils, I think people asked about water-based markers, watercolour, different pencils, so uh, we're going to have a play, we're going to have a look. Um, I will also do a quick flip through for you guys. So if you're not into the flip through, you've seen that already, just skip ahead. Um, I'll pop in the description box below at what time the um, experimentation begins. So we have just a really cute little book here that I purchased with the idea to um, kind of colour in some of the illustrations. When it came it's a little hardback version and these are really cute plays on um, you know different famous ideas and just very cute caricatures um, but it's a very very shiny um, paper format. So then became the idea of what's actually going to work in here and uh, well we will see is the point. So cute. And there we have it. Okay, so back to the page I've chosen to. I've chosen to, um, well, tamper with. Um, I've got some paper in behind. Um, it does pick up fingerprints like crazy, this paper. So um, be aware. Let's give it a clean. Um, so I have immediately ruled out any kind of alcohol marker because it's a double-sided book um, you're very welcome to try you could flip to the back page and risk uh, risk it for a biscuit and see what happens but I'm going to say for myself no I also have a couple of media here that I'm pretty sure won't work but we're going to test them because I said I would um, I think we're going to do something very strange and I'm going to try to play with some neo colour too. <laughs> yes, because you know, um, we're going to test a few different bits and pieces. Um, we will see. Um, so, uh, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I know how this will go, but I thought, you know. It could be could be pretty interesting. Obviously I won't I won't do it all. We'll just do a little a little play, a little section. And hope this stuff moves at all. Um, it's a very shiny print, so you want to try not to get it over the black as much as you can.
for those of you that just want to see pencil on this, there is pencil incoming, I promise. Not to worry. Sorry guys, <laughs> I don't work with Neo Colour 2s very often, I forgot to speak. Um, just laying a, a basic layer of different colour down. We'll just do an initial layer and see. We're already very sticky on this paper. Not sure you'll get much movement out of the crayons. So you'll, like I say, I'm not convinced this will be a, a good idea but we're committed so um, got some water off to one side and we'll see I'm pretty sure that what will happen is exactly what I think will happen and that um, the neo colour just won't stick to the paper at all because it's too shiny. Um, so what I'm doing is trying not to add too too much water and I'm trying not to move my crane I'm trying to dab we're not we're not you know running our brush around we're just we're dabbing dab 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 just activating that color with some water
Well, it moves. <laughs> we'll give it that. Okay, and then we'll have a very quick play at putting it onto the palette first. And then we'll switch, we will switch media. Sorry guys, I'm sat on my foot, it's going numb there with me. Oh, better, right. Okay, so yeah, if you're going to um, play this way, you're better off working from a palette. You're going to get a very stripy, grainy watercolour effect, which can be quite fun. Uh, my paper's buckling quite a bit, so I don't think it's wonderfully happy about the water. Bring some more purple into that colour as I bring it down. See what we can fix. <laughs> Okay, neo colour two, not my favourite, but then like I say, I haven't used them a lot and some people will be better at that than me. And it did get a quick base layer, you are going to get quite a bit of crinkling, we did not go through, which is nice. And then um, people did want to see um, watercolour markers well yeah brush markers uh so do i have a color that we're going to use for basing this i do right i have a green um
that went down really nicely, really easily on the page. Minimal streaking for a water based pen there. We did not go through, but I was very careful not to linger in one place or put too much of a layer on. So um, your water based markers are a go. Look at me, I'm filthy already, I haven't done anything yet. Or a yes. And then I've got a few different types of pencils for you guys here. So, um, I've got Polychromos because they're really hard. Brute Vuna because they're affordable and everybody has them. And Prismacolor because they're completely the other end of the spectrum. They're really soft pencils and again, a lot of people do have and use Prismacolor. So... Um, we'll start with the Brute Funa in blue because it's a dry patch and we will see. To lay down a little bit of shadow. The one thing I will say with my lights, um, this paper is a little bit shiny and kind of difficult to see. Um, there's a lot of reflection to it when you're working. Gonna emphasize some of the shadow. And then start in our blues. Do I even have a pencil shot that I do? I'm gonna sharpen my pencil and we're gonna work our way up. Just slowly bring the blues lighter and lighter. And we'll see what we get. Can you hear my husband telling the dog off? Don't know if it will pick up on uh, my microphone or not. Again, just working down in the blue layers. I'm going to blow it. I don't want to risk brushing it into uh, that wet neon colour. And then a pale blue. I'm pretty sure I already know the winner of this, <laughs> to be honest. But we said we would, so we will.
Uh, okay, and then I've got a little bit of white. Things move on this beautifully, obviously. Everything's just sat on the surface, I think. The only problem is that it's going to really blend your colours into your white highlight area, so you have to be careful with that. You're definitely not going to get a rich colour payoff um, without uh, a pen base. But for this vintage kind of book, that might be nice in and of itself to just have those more washed out pages okay um they went down like i say you're not getting a lot of color variants they are sitting on the top of the paper a little bit does make them quite nice to blend into each other because you know a little bit of white and the, everything's going to move around and blend in quite a bit of um, dust obviously from the pencils that's just something to just brush off that's not a deal breaker for me um nothing's gone through the paper's held up quite well to the pencil a little bit of buckling and misshaping because of the kind of pencil uh, paper that it is but all in all um they were nice enough to work with and they've done what I wanted them to. Right, so Brute Vuna I would say are a yes for a paler look. Um, Water-based markers for that kind of brighter, poppier, more um, blank layered kind of look. Uh, I tend to be more inclined to uh, pencils. just from my colouring style but we're all going to feel differently in this okay I'm going to pop my greens over the um, water based marker I'm going to see how that works we're trying a bit of polychromos now Again, it's really changing the colours that you're getting with this. You could probably blend with your water-based markers. I'm just... Uh, not really my skill set. Um, I feel like the polychromos are kind of sitting on top of the paper more. They're looking a little bit um, like they've built up a bit of a layer up top. Not keen on that. The difference there might have been going over that um, pen. So have a little look.
Yeah, the polycotton that's not my favourite. They don't move into the paper at all. They're just sitting on top, very patchy. So they're a no for me. Okay. <laughs> I'll be super brave and um, I'm <laughs> going to use Prisma on his face. The things you guys make me do. <laughs> oh. This will be one of those hideaway pages, I think. to be very careful about keeping the layer pretty light there I think you smushes out there won't like prismas in here As long as you're a little bit gentle, a little bit conservative, they're actually behaving quite nicely. My very poor talent in skin is not a reflection on how these pencils are doing on this paper. Skin isn't really where I shine. Don't know where I put my Tigal for my Christmas. Let's uh, add a bit of pink to this. I think the problem's going to start when we actually start to add a couple of layers to him. I'm not sure we're going to be able to. Again, you're going to get very washed out sorts of colours, I think. We 
definitely going to be a vintage book for pencil. Do you think I prefer the Brute Pruna so far in here? But again, like I said, the skin's not my comfort zone, so. Um, yeah, I think so far Fruit Fruna is my preference or yeah, stick to your water-based. Shall we um, do a final test of uh, a water-based milk cut with some Fruit Fruna and see if we have uh, a winning combo. Give that a little moment to dry. Hmm, I wonder how acrylic will go. <laughs> okay, might as well at this point. What do we really have to lose? Um, all right. While we wait for that to dry, let's see if we can play with these clouds a little.
Probably a no for me there. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fix this now. This is the trouble when you let someone into your surprise. My husband keeps borrowing my wine at Costco and he never puts things back. Hmm. I will be right back. Okay, I managed to hunt down the offending article. Let's uh, see how much worse we can make this. <laughs> um, it's probably not what we call an exhibition piece, um, that's for sure. Well, if anyone's watching this video and this is the first one they've seen and thinks this is how I actually colour, that's probably a few people that I didn't get <laughs> joining the channel, isn't it? Um, I reckon. It will turn this into a can you fix it? Okay. Well, let's see. Can we fix how dry are we? Not a dry enough to uh, do this, but we will. Um, just going to lay a little pencil over the top of this. Help some of the patchiness that we've got going on. How's that look through the viewfinder? How crazy does this page look? Oh yes! <laughs> Pretty bad. Oh, very good. Right, let's see what else we can do with this. To be honest guys, fixing anything is just about having the, the time and the patience and the will to uh, see what you can do with it. I would advise leaving this to dry properly rather than do what I'm doing. But you can see you can start to kind of darken things up and
fix and clear. I think this uh, is going to end up a lot stormier a night than it first would have. You can see, you know, add some pencil over the top, make that graininess on purpose, keep everything side to side when you're fixing it, kind of like the sky is supposed to be a little bit more abstract and you will get away with it probably. Um, what were we originally going to do? Right, let's see how this looks over this blue pen. Honestly, the, the shine for my lights is so bad I can barely get a good angle to see where I'm laying my colour on this paper. Yeah, I still prefer the Brute Furna. Um, be honest. No, you need to take into account the kind of um, colourist I am. I prefer pencil and I prefer an oil based harder lead pencil that you can kind of build and layer. Well, um, so that is going to tint my colouring preference for things. But even over the pen, that's a much smoother um, addition of colour than the polychromos. I quite like the vintage of not having this depth, but you could always use more pastel coloured pens um, and still be able to create something like that. I wouldn't say Neo Colour 2 was the way to go um, in any way. You could probably build that up better and get there eventually but for the time saved by using a watercolour I'm not sure it will be worth it for the amount of time to um, correct and play in the end. Acrylic was a no for me although it did uh, warp the paper less and it didn't go through. Um, I think most people guess this right it's a case of uh, a water-based pen and if you're a pencil fan, try your brute fullness. Um, have you had a play on this paper? Have you, you know, found something that you like? Pop your recommendations down below for us. Uh, we're all very interested to know. I hope this um, experiment on this crazy paper has been useful or interesting in some way for you guys. I do need to preface this with I'm not an expert in anything, I'm a hobbyist, so you know I'm sure there's uh, better ways to do this, um, you know, better techniques to use, but this was a practice, this was first time use, this was playing and learning together uh, by having a go. Sometimes you've just got to sacrifice. <laughs> In the name of God, hope you guys um, appreciate <laughs> my loss. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. If you in uh, no, please thumbs up. And if you enjoy the channel, please do subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.